everybody and welcome back to Amnesia Memories where Shin is, I assume, yelling at us for being the worst at our job. It is the ninth! We've broken a little bit through Iki's, Iki's little, little shell. This little weird succubus shell. We still have no idea what's going on with him, like no idea whatsoever. But we held hands and it was precious, so let's, I don't know, let's get yelled at by Shin because he's just... So, I feel like, I wonder, I wonder if we're close. I'm really curious to know more about Shin, to find out if we're, like, actually friends, and he's just this character. <laughs> he's just like, hey, could you, like, get it together? <laughs> could, you, could you just, like, act your age, please? <clears throat> hey, could you seriously get your act together? Oh, he's not gonna eeky. Sick. <laughs> Off the hook. Phew. Huh? Me? Yes, you. Why are you mad at me so early in the morning? Wait, did you even have a shift today, Shin? That's the problem. Last night I got a call from mine. Oh. I was rejected by Iki, so I'll be skipping work tomorrow. Take care of it. That's what she said. Well, that is. I don't even know what to say. How many female employees does this make now who've just up and quit? It's seriously getting to be a real problem. I know the manager says your condition is a big contribution to the cafe, but I think it's more like a double-edged sword. Although I don't think mine is so sensitive that she'd quit completely. You should be more careful. When you reject someone, do it gently. Yes, but I am already being gentle. Are you? Yeah, I guess then you're rejecting them so gently they can't even give up on you. <laughs> you're not talking! He's just like muttering stuff to himself. Anyway, I'm working today. All right, I am sorry. He said Iki rejected mine. I wonder how he did it. I think it's good that Iki set things straight, but it's really irresponsible of mine to take the day off work. She's the worst. I mean, you're working, and you've got amnesia. <laughs> this place has been crazy right from the morning. Was it always like this? Also, Shin. What? Did you go tell the manager about this again? I did. Uh-oh. Waka! Everybody, let's begin with the morning assembly! I received a report that there were, once again, romantic issues between our employees yesterday. <laughs> Poor Yuki. Because of that, one employee forced a sudden shift switch. Trouble like this is an enormous wrench in the cafe's strategic operations. Those involved should reconsider their actions and correct their attitudes. That is all. Dismissed. manager. Don't say anything. Personally, I sympathize with you. It's like, it's not your fault that everybody wants the D. Or is it? Because we still don't know. Alright, that about wraps things up. Mine never did show up. I wonder if she'll really quit. Well, I know this is kind of troublesome for the cafe, but at least we know Iki has no intention of cheating. He's very open about who his girlfriend is. He doesn't seem to have trouble rejecting other people. I guess you could say that's the only good part about him. Really? The only good thing about him? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's got tons of flaws, but I wouldn't say that his only good quality is that he is very open about the fact that I'm his girlfriend. Still, he's always so secretive about walking home with you. Anyway, I guess you should just wait in the usual place while Iki chats it up with other girls. Blah. 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 <gasps> Who are you? Ooh, hello. Uh. What? What a huge person! Oh, is he tall? What a what a what a tall, huge person! He doesn't look huge this way. Just this way, maybe. What a tall! What a tall! Yeah, I guess because Iki is normally this tall in the frame. Ah, whatever. He's just staring over there. Uh. Uh. Don't look at us. Do you know him? Do you know? Oh, shoot. You don't know. Because you've got amnesia. I'm sorry I'm late. I know I made you wait. <laughs> Glasses down. Oh, dang. Glasses down. Oh, it is you, Ken. It's been a while, EQ. Huh? He knows him? There's this weird 
attention, I guess? I see, so the time has finally come. Yes, I've been waiting a long time for this day, when I could finally confront you. <laughs> I would have preferred to never see you again. Hmm, well, how unfortunate then. If you're going to beg for your life, do it now. I've created the ultimate weapon to finish you off for good. The ultimate weapon? I see. Sounds like there is nowhere to run. Fart Lily. <laughs> Fart Lily, stand back. <laughs> Ken is like, your girlfriend's name is Fart Lily? You know what, never mind, I'm out. <laughs> Good. See ya. Uh, what's going on? Are we in a different world now or something? You will finish me off, huh? I won't yield to you. If you think you can defeat me, go ahead and try. Mm, that was my intention, EQ. This weapon shall seal your fate. I've spent a long time on this, just for your sake. Research, theorems, sleep. Yes, this has been my entire life for some time, so that I could create this weapon. What? Ken, you would go that far? Now then, regrettably, it's time to say farewell. I shall use this weapon and extinguish you from all eternity. Take this, EQ! My ultimate masterpiece, the pinnacle of all my knowledge! Ah, ah. <laughs> I could just be like, uh. <laughs> what does this even do? Does this even do anything for me to be like, um, <laughs> or please stop? I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. What? Ow, that hurt me too! Are you okay? I'm sorry, I didn't think you would jump in front of him like that. Sorry, are you hurt? Can you stand? You seem fine. What a relief. Ah, uh, this actually really, really hurts. But that was surprising, I didn't think you would jump in. Were you trying to save me or something? If you were, it makes me kind of happy, although right now was probably not the best moment. <laughs> what the shit? What is happening? I will introduce you. This is Kent. He's my best friend. Or maybe just a bad friend. What? You can call us arch rivals. You think of me as your arch rival. That is kind of an honor. Didn't I tell you about him before? You know, the idiot who is graduate school for math. Hey. You go to graduate school, yet you make silly weapons like this. It sounds like an idiot to me. Just look at this paper. His weapon is a math puzzle. <laughs> it's not just a puzzle. I've spent countless hours on research, theorems. I've even lost sleep to make that. Yes, you said this earlier. Thank you for this really complicated looking thing. This puzzle truly could be called a mathematical weapon. Even you wouldn't be able to solve it. Just keep telling yourself that. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen Iki talk to somebody like this before. He said the other guy is his best friend. I guess even Iki has a different side to him around friends. I am sure you want to visit my place, Ken. Can she come along too? I have no reason to refuse. In fact, wouldn't it be more appropriate to ask her if I can come along? Fart Lily, is that okay with you? Do you have anything to do later? Let's do it. Alright then, feel free. We get to see his place! It's happening. Huh? So this is Iki's room. It's unexpectedly cozy. Why do you appear so curious? Aren't you used to this place? Whoa, oh crap, that's right. It's bad to look around, huh? It's her first time. The princess won't even let me kiss her yet. There is no way I could bring her to my place. Huh, I didn't realize you were struggling so much. I see, so a woman even you can't win over has finally appeared. Don't be so sure. We've still got three weeks. Oh, I see. Sounds like I'll be able to finally see you cry over a woman for a change, not just math. Like hell you will. It's not even funny, even as a joke. Go ahead, sit where you want. I will bring drinks. 
Ah, uh, hi, Ken. Wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Ken, just wait. Hold on while you're staring at me. Uh, affection is almost as big as as good as suspicion now, so that's good, right? <laughs> and our trust has gone up too, I think. Um, hi, Kent. Why is he looking over here? Wait, it's no time to be getting shy. You need to ask this Kent guy for info about Iki. He's his best friend, after all. Ask him about Iki's friends, his life at college, his previous girlfriends. There's just, ah, there's so much. Oh, you mean the math puzzle. Oh, God, it's not the right voice. <laughs> oh, you mean the math puzzle. Those are just a bunch of problems for entertainment. It's far more difficult to create math problems than to solve them. I'm enrolled in a graduate program for mathematics. EQ majors in economics with an emphasis in accounting, so he doesn't have problems dealing with numbers. That's all there is to it. I doubt we would be arch rivals if he were the one with writing problems. And it's very worthwhile when you have someone who can solve the problems you write. Huh. There's a big gap between their math abilities. But they're about equal if he's writing them and Iki's solving them? I didn't know Iki was majoring in accounting. I'm surprised his choice was so plain. I suppose so. I've been spending time with EQ ever since he entered university. It might sound ridiculous, but the catalyst for our getting to know each other was girlfriend troubles. The woman who was going out with me at the time told me she fell in love with EQ and it created friction between us. What? His friendship was born out of a love triangle? Weird. That's a new one. It's hilarious telling the story. He kept saying his condition was what caused it. If he had seduced her, he could have been honest, but it just sounded like the most absurd excuse. It makes me laugh even now. I have no means of explaining such a condition with my present knowledge. Afterwards, I ended up breaking up with the woman I was dating, but that's not the issue. The issue is that even after three years, he still hasn't backed down from that excuse of his. I accept it's strangely inexplicable how many women tend to flock around him wherever he goes. Because his condition can't be explained from a medical standpoint, I believe there is a psychological or sociological reason. And it's for that reason I've been spending my time with him out of interest. I want to determine the truth for myself through observation. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So he's saying he doesn't care about his ex-girlfriend. He's hanging out with Iki because he can't accept his condition? What a strange friendship. I have. However, you seem to be quite different from the other women I've seen. I've gained an interest in you ever since hearing that you're actually making Iki struggle. Still, now that I've met you, you seem unexpectedly ordinary. Wh hey, whoa! Whoa, excuse yourself! I happen to collect fortune cookies. So get out of here! From what I've seen, EQ tends to choose a relatively well-developed weapon- w weapons <laughs> Women. So you're quite different from them. Are you trying to say that I don't got the boobles for the boobles? Although, it's possible he just considers that aspect refreshing. Oh, how can he say rude stuff with such a straight face? I think the more we hear, the more we learn how weird this guy is. <laughs> you're pretty strange. I'm not trying to impress this guy, whatever. Yes, I'm sure. I get that quite often. You really are an ordinary woman, just as you appear. Ah! What's with this guy calling you ordinary? Is he trying to say he's extraordinary? Hmm. Why is ordinary harsh? Because you have some sort of inferiority complex, because of the fact that you're normal. Ah! Sorry for the wait. It looks like you two are, uh, getting along. <laughs> in what way? Everybody in the room? <laughs> Excuse me? Was I wrong? You two just looked like you were having a playful argument. Arguing is actually Ken's way of showing his affection. That is inaccurate. Anyway. Now that the conversation is getting exciting, we should have some tea. This conversation is the opposite of exciting. Actually, I ended up making coffee. Would you prefer tea? I see you're addicted to coffee as usual, EQ. 
is right. Half the stuff served at the cafe is coffee, too. The food there isn't very good, but the coffee is acceptable. I can't deny that. What a s strange buddy comedy we're in right now. Alright, well, bye. <laughs> I gotta go. I need to leave. Oh, it's nighttime. We're, we were here so late. It's already late. It is dark out. I will walk you home. I see. I suppose I'll get going now. Yes, thank you for the puzzle. I will give it a try. I'd appreciate that. I'll be thinking of how to punish you for giving up. I've told you already. I won't give up. I look forward to seeing you try. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Anyway, we should go too. You don't want to be alone with me at night, do you? Or do you want to spend the night? I could lend you some clothes. Oh! Why are you blocking the way? Oh, oh! Hey, why are you blocking the way like that? Oh, Ryan. <laughs> I can't tell if he's talking to me or talking to him. I assume he's talking to him. It's okay. I am not some wolf starving for a girl. I'll hold back if you ask me to. I'd be okay sleeping on the floor. I won't do anything if you ask me not to. Although it is up to you whether you can believe me or not. But spending the night with a guy, telling him not to do anything is a little... You know. Uh, um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> wait, what the sh? Wait, so he's like, you can spend the night if you want. That's totally fine. I'll even sleep on the floor. I was like, all right, okay. That could like up our trust, right? If I'm like, okay, I trust you not to touch my jiggly bits. And now he's like, but I mean. It would be sort of dumb if you did that. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy, whoa! You're the one who even offered! Like, what? <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be like last time where I choose something and then I wind up being like, I, I had uh, garlic fries, you should not kiss me. to think that I'm like into Kent or think that Kent's a hottie. Jeez. What is wrong? You are all red. Do you really want to stay? Sorry, I am joking. Don't get so serious. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I will walk you back. I won't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining him like giggling to himself but like almost crying just like I can't. This is so hard. Why is it so hard to seduce you? Anyway, let us get going. It is cold out so I will lend you a coat. You can return it tomorrow at work. <laughs> oh sorry, your, your face just now. <laughs> this isn't a laughing matter. What is going on? <laughs> just so you know, I thought of about a hundred excuses you could say to escape from this. Anyway. If you ever make up your mind about it, you're always welcome to stay with me. I'm not just talking about staying the night. I mean, living together. Whoa! Iki! I guess today was a preview. Think about it. Whoa, what? We haven't even- What? We just held hands! Iki, what is happening? I don't know what's going on in this game! It's like, do you wanna- Wait! But he's like- He's like, we have two weeks left. For me to try and bang you. But you can live with me if you want. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I hope Orion addresses this. We got home safely. Orion, he's not going to jump our jiggles, okay? Thought it would be safe at his place because his friend was around, but he's a really gutsy guy. What was that at the very end? You mentioned living together. You haven't even kissed. You're pretty far from that stage. Thank you, Orion. Tall telling the real stuff. Sounded like he's talked about this before. Why would he bring something like that up? If he feels lonely. Iki? Of all people? If he's lonely living alone, he could always have Kent or someone be his roommate. It sounded like Iki was the one offering living together with you, but it sounded like you were hesitant about it before too. Oh, maybe the one month left Iki was talking about before was the time limit for this decision. Wait, but... Mine was also talking about there being only one month left. Ah! I feel as though we got to know Iki a little better today, but things also got a little more confusing. Oh well, it's probably about time to stop thinking and just hit the hay. You know? Let's do our best tomorrow. Peace! See ya! 
Oh, hey, Kent. Oh, hey, Kent. August 10th. Oh, you're in normal clothes. Hey, look at that. Wow. Uh, good morning. Oh, mine's here. She already recovered after a day. I guess the damage from being rejected was less than I thought. Are you going to the fireworks show with Iki tonight? Wait, fireworks show? This is new information. Today? Do you have plans with Iki? I don't really mind. I asked Shin and the manager to go with me, and they said cool, so... Although, Iki really is adored by lots of girls. Just like me. But having two hot guys with you definitely beats having just one, so I still win! Suck it! Is this a contest? <laughs> anyway, go ahead and enjoy the fireworks show together. I'll be watching the fireworks with a flower in each hand, so to speak. I've already won, just so you know. <laughs> <coughs> what is with this girl? I haven't lost at anything, but I'm suddenly feeling really frustrated and like I want to just like take that little clip out of her hair and then maybe keep it. I don't know, it's really cute. <laughs> Alright, analytics time! So, if we say sorry, it might build toward us having a better relationship with mine. But it could also make her be like, I don't actually care, you need to chill out. If I say good for you, she'll be like, damn. Um... But this could be, this could be like a good for you. Not just like a, well, good for you, I'm gonna go do my job. Ugh. I don't know. Which is it? Um... I'm not sorry. You were being a pain in the butt. That should be obvious. Don't try to act sympathetic. And if you say anything more, I'll slap you. It's definitely traditional to slap a female rival across the face. Anyway, you go ahead and watch the fireworks alone with Iggy. And don't come back crying with some stupid excuse like the fan club was getting in the way so you couldn't go. The fan club? I'm gonna go get dressed. Hey, wait! Mine? What fan club? Iggy has a fan club? Could it be? Those girls who scream, ah, it's Iggy all the time. Are they fan club members? Why does a regular college student have a fan club? That's weird, right? That's weird, right? Oh. Good work, everybody. That's enough for today. I'm sure a lot of you will be going to tonight's firework event. I plan to go with an employee group and supervise them as well. Having a change of pace is important, but don't get so carried away that it affects your work tomorrow. Be very careful of that. That is all. Dismiss you. He said he's going with an employee group to supervise them. Is this what mine meant when she said she'd have a flower in each hand? Ugh. Fart Lily, good work today. Looks like the others will be going to the fireworks show. It sounds fun. But I take it you want to be alone together tonight, right? Sounds like you did have plans. It's good he came to you about it. You said you'd wear a yukata. I'm sure it'll take a while to put on, so go ahead and head home first. You don't have to wait for me. Let us see. I will swing by your place around 6.30 to pick you up. So wait for me inside. I will call you when I am there. He told you about where to meet and what time. Awesome! Anyway, I will see you later. I look forward to seeing you in the yukata. Me too! I bet we're adorable! Alrighty, yukata! Those are pretty nice. Very appropriate for summer in Japan. Although it's kinda cold. Man, let's put on clothes! 